Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you record macros, they are saved in the workbook in which you create them by default. When a workbook that contains macros is open, its macros are available for use by all open workbooks. However, after closing the workbook, which contains the macros, you cannot use them in other workbooks. To fix this, Excel provides a personal macro workbook as a place to which you can save macros that you want to be universally accessible to all open workbooks on your computer. The Personal Macro Workbook is a workbook that opens every time you open Excel. However, it is a hidden workbook, so you do not normally see it. Many people aren't even aware it exists. However, you can store your macros into this workbook to make them available to all open workbooks on your computer. Since the Personal Macro Workbook is always open and always hidden, its macros are always available to all other open workbooks at that computer. To save a macro into the Personal Macro Workbook, select Personal Macro Workbook from the Store Macro In drop-down in the Record Macro dialog box when you begin recording a macro. The macro you then record is saved into that workbook. After saving macros into the Personal Macro Workbook, you must unhide the workbook to edit or delete its macros. To hide and unhide the Personal Macro Workbook, click the Hide or Unhide buttons in the Window button group on the View tab of the ribbon. If you click the Unhide button after saving at least one macro into the Personal Macro Workbook, an Unhide dialog box then appears. To unhide the Personal Macro Workbook, select the Personal File and then click the OK button. You will then see the Personal Macro Workbook appear. You can then edit or delete any macros saved within it by using the macro dialog box. To hide the personal macro workbook after editing or deleting its macros, make sure you still have it displayed on screen. Then click the hide button in the window button group on the view tab of the ribbon to hide the personal macro workbook again. Always remember to hide the Personal Macro Workbook after editing or deleting its macros to ensure the workbook doesn't accidentally get deleted. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.